Are you thinking about buying a camera to make videos but not sure what to buy? In this video, we'll take a look at the point and shoot and talk about its pros and cons, what you can use it for, and my thoughts if you should be investing in one. In this episode, we are talking about the point and shoot. A point and shoot is a camera that is small and compact and it exists to be easy to use straight out of the box. It's pretty much switching on the camera and pressing record. Generally, a point and shoot have good autofocus and you can get amazing results even in automatic mode. An example of a point and shoot camera is what I have right here. This is a Sony RX100. Hey guys, before we go further, and if we're meeting for the first time, my name is Hafiz and welcome to Roll Record. On this channel, I teach beginners how to make videos. I also share helpful tips and tools that can help you get started and go further in your video making journey. So if that's something that you are into, please consider subscribing. Okay, let's go ahead and talk about the pros and cons. A point and shoot camera is obviously small and compact, which makes it great for traveling. It's also easy to use because it's literally just point and shoot operation. It has good autofocus. A point and shoot has a larger sensor as compared to, for example, a smartphone, and a larger sensor results in a better and speedier autofocus. With a point and shoot, you do get a decent amount of optical zoom. As I mentioned earlier, even in automatic mode, you do get good quality images out of it. And that's one of the reasons why a point and shoot exists. It's all about the ease of use without messing around much in settings. With a point and shoot, you can do a decent amount of slow motion, either at 60 frames per second or 120 frames per second. The better point and shoot cameras allow you to shoot at even higher frame rates for a better looking slow motion. For a point and shoot, it stores its media in SD cards, which is great because they're relatively cheap. Last but not least, the point and shoot has a flip screen, which allows you to see yourself when vlogging or when you're taking a selfie. With a point and shoot, there is something called a recording limit, which means that you cannot shoot a single video longer than a certain time. So for 1080p, you're only allowed to shoot from 20 to 30 minutes. And if you're shooting at 4K, it's roughly from two to five minutes. And one of the reasons why there is such a recording limit is to prevent the camera from overheating. A point and shoot camera comes with a fixed lens, which means you cannot change the lens. A point and shoot is generally poor in low light conditions. Although there are some exceptions to this rule as some of the more expensive ones are better at low light conditions. Battery life on the other hand is not the greatest so you need to have extra batteries whenever you're using this type of camera. Also, there's no external microphone option. Now, audio is an important part of a video, so not being able to use an external mic to get better audio might be a deal breaker for some. However, there is also an exception to this rule as recently, some of the more pricier point and shoot cameras now have the ability to attach an external microphone. A point and shoot can be used for the following scenarios. Vlog. A vlogger can benefit from a point and shoot because it's small, has a flip out screen, and the angle is wide enough if they hold out their hand to capture themselves and their surroundings. Run and gun. Run and gun style is the idea of shooting any form of video as it happens. You see anything interesting, you pull out the camera and you shoot. Most people who do run and gun style videos carry very little gear with them. Travel. Having something small means you can travel light and still document your adventures in high quality. Events. The same can be said for events like concerts where you can zoom in to the artist on stage. When it comes to pricing, a point and shoot can cost anywhere from $200 to as much as $1,000. The more expensive ones offer higher resolutions like 4K, comes with a larger sensor, better at low light situations, and a better zoom lens. I'll leave links to some point and shoot cameras so you can check them out yourself in the description box below. I can see the point and shoot working for people who want a small, 
easy to use and flexible camera, especially vloggers and run and gun style videos where they just want to be able to pull out the camera, power it up and record knowing that the footage is going to look good and in high quality. However, the other important factor about not having a mic input for external mics might be an issue for some as inbuilt mics are usually not good. If you are aiming for long-form content, meaning your videos are going to be recorded for more than 30 minutes, then the point in shoot will not be a suitable choice because of the record timing limitation. To be honest, you'll also run out of batteries pretty quickly. My Sony point and shoot is what I use as my second camera and it's still a valuable piece of gear in my camera bag for days that I just want to travel light and not worry about any additional gear. Some may argue, why not just use your smartphone? Well, that's a good point. In the next video, we'll talk about the smartphone. So please subscribe and hit that notification bell so that you know when it's released. Like and share this video to help someone out. And if you have any questions, please let me know in the comments below. Thank you for watching and I'll catch you in the next one. See ya.